back with another iPhone 6 Plus Touch IC classic gray bar at the top. So this is just another Mason repair. Um, in my experience, when you have the gray bar flicker at the top, that's that's all that's all you need to replace. You don't have to replace the key once as well. You can, you want, but it's not necessary. So, I'm going to do the same thing as in my previous video for some preventative measures. Uh, we're going to remove the overfill for the front facing camera proximity sensor line. And we're going to lay captain tape over the Wi Fi chip on the back, as well as uh, couple of nickels for some, some heat sinks. Remember to remove your sticker. We have to um, before you remove the overfill. That's a good way to remember. If you don't, you will lift things. I've lifted two home button connectors before. Forgetting to take off that sticker before I was removing overfill. Get her in view. So I spent most of the morning trying to set up my uh, recording equipment a little better. Um, usually use a laptop to record everything too. I don't have it today, so I was using uh, on our desktops here. And it's just been giving us so much trouble. I was hoping to, have to be able to save on editing. I'm still going to have to edit the video together. Um, I'm not able to use OBS yet correctly uh, with this desktop. Just because I want to take my mic. It's only for, for headphones, so fortunately for headphones. It took us just forever to figure out how to get this microscope camera working with the desktop because it doesn't have a CD slot to download the software for the camera. So I use a USB drive and Use the front computer that had uh, a CD slot to drag the files to USB. So, I've been just messing around on one, just trying to get this damn recording equipment set up, I'm ready to go. So I don't have to do a lot of, of video editing, but it still looks that way. And I'll just have to deal with it until I can upgrade. Alright. So everything's prepped. Now we're just ready to take off our old mason. Clean up the pads and replace it. Check your orientation. You know which way the chip goes back on. I say it in every single video.
by flux. Get some leaded solder. New Mason. Heat sinks back on. Remove Captain from our Wi Fi. Take a look. 
look, make sure there's no solder balls that popped out, which usually indicates a hardware issue. Let me see that. And it looks like we're good. So our Wi-Fi should still be intact. Chip snapped into place nicely. Just gotta let it cool down for a little bit. And we will test it. And on to the next one. Time to cool down. I'm the only one in the shop right now. Man, when I first started doing these repairs, these were these things were so nerve-wracking and I was always afraid <laughs> for other components to come flying off the board because I didn't want to have to try and replace them. But I've came a long way in a short period of time. I'll tell you that. Um, this kind of stuff is, is fun. It's a challenge. Put your brain to work. Put your skills to work. Especially when you come across a new problem, you, try to, you have to try to figure it out. What's good about right now is there's actually a, you know, a lot of knowledgeable people that are making these videos and sharing them. So they come to a, a problem before you do. I mean, they do most of the for you and you just basically got to mimic them. So Apple logo. It's a, it's a good sign. It means our chip's on right. Or not on at all, I should say. On right or not on at all. Well, we saw it snap in place, so we know we know it's good. We uh, did a little back and forth motion with it. Thought you were going to wiggle a little bit. So you know all the solder walls were in a liquid state. All right, let me, uh, we do have touch. Let me go find the, the Pascal's we've run on test. All righty. Actually, stop recording the microscope. Just you? Just my employee. All right, let's run through these tests. So, it's your rear camera. Front, did I plug in the front facing? I did. Oh, the screen is highly destroyed. Move the front facing camera. You can see through the most checkpoints on the price of the worst front facing cameras are working. Oh, the screen's going up. Yeah, I don't have to touch right there. Let me go grab another screen. Transfer the home button. Shut 
should already have this screen set up for this. This was going to be a short video, guys. Not anymore. Apologize. Keep running into little issues. Thing here, and you see, we've got our front facing camera back. Um, so, I have to stick on it, but there is a picture now. So, it was just the cable. Let's go test the Wi Fi real quick. Settings Wi Fi Wi Fi is not grayed out, so we are good. Keyboard. Make sure everything is touching the far left side. I used to have some troubles with. And it and cancel. Everything is working. Alright, so this phone's gonna get cleaned up and put the rest of it back together. <laughs> 